hello everyone and welcome to my channel my name is zesh nyaga and if you're new here kindly please consider subscribing so that you can join this family so today we're going to prepare chicken wet fry and uh, these are the ingredients that we are going to use that is our chicken hoho uh, tomatoes we have red onions salt soy sauce and then on the other side for the spices we are going to use uh, garam masala next we are using uh, turmeric but if you have the real turmeric leave alone the powder it's the best we also have black paper if you don't have black paper and you have pili pili you are good to go then lastly we are using curry powder so for anyone who doesn't know how to cut the chicken into pieces this is how i do it i cut it by myself just alone so this is how i do it so i'm through with cutting or slicing my chicken and this is how it looks like i've just put it in my pot to boil ensure you boil your chicken for around 20 to 30 minutes the essence of boiling is to ensure that your meat or your chicken becomes soft and so that you can also achieve some soup to make the wet fry when it comes to boiling you don't just put your chicken with water there and you leave it you will have to come back and turn your chicken so the so that the pieces that are on top can also cook Put some oil, uh, cooking oil in a sufuria or a pot or whatever you're frying your chicken with. And uh, the amount of cooking oil is determined by how your chicken is. My chicken is that uh, fat. It has a lot of fat. So I'll just use little cooking oil. Next, we are going to add the onions. So we are cooking our red onions on low heat till they turn golden brown. Our onions are ready because as you can see most of them have turned golden brown. So we are going to add in our chicken so that we can fry it together with the onions for around 5 to 10 minutes. Remember when you fry the chicken in that um, uh, onion, you will realize that your meat has a unique taste. So once you put your chicken inside the onions, cover them, uh, just give them a nice stir to ensure that each and every piece of your chicken absorbs the onions. Then you cover so that it can cook for a while. We are going to add pili pili ho ho or capsicum and don't miss it. Don't stir your chicken, just cover it. After two to three minutes, uh, we are going to start adding in our spices and that's uh, garam masala. Next, we are going to add in the rest of the spices, that's black pepper. Remember we had soy sauce. The reason as to why we put soy sauce before salt is because soy sauce tastes like salt. 
So once you put your soy sauce to the required uh, amount, stir, you stir your chicken and test if it's salty. If you realize your chicken is still not salty, that's the time you'll add the salt to avoid adding much soy sauce together with the salt and messing with everything. So we are going to cover our meat to cook together with the spices for a while and on this other side we will be blending our tomatoes so that we can add them to the chicken. Remember when we were boiling our chicken we extracted some soup. This is the soup we are going to add into our chicken together we are with our blended tomatoes. Personally, I don't eat cooked tomatoes, but once I blend them, they tend to disappear in my food and uh, I eat it very well. When you look keenly to our meat, it has some soap, but the good thing about it is that uh, you can't see any tomato. It's just pure stew. As you can see, our chicken is ready and I'm serving it with uh, mashed potatoes. So these are the end results. I hope you've enjoyed the video. This is a recipe you can try at home. You can prepare it for your family, for yourself. And I'm very sure you'll enjoy. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe, comment and share. Thanks for watching.